All right, so surprise, surprise, I changed the background to the, tra uh, not the trailer reactions, but the kind of reviews background. And the reason yeah. for this is because I secretly, without telling you, started watching Daybreak um, this weekend. On that was Netflix. Like, that's on Netflix. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. It's about the end of the world apocalypse. We said it's kind of like a kid end of the world thing. Like and it's in because it, it's all they're all in high school and like Matthew Broderick is like the principal. Yes, stuff. yes. Let me let let's rewatch the trailer real quick because I want to okay. kind of tell you what I've seen thus far. I haven't finished it, but I did power through like three or four episodes and it's kind of fun. Okay. Oh 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 oh. Three, two, one, play. Hey, bros, what does the golf team do to those who crash our party? Take another fucking step and you're dead. Well, fuck you, loser! Cut it off. Ah! Is this what you were trying to do? I was trying to cut it clean off. It was gonna be rad. That's me, Josh, and I've got a killer origin story. Oh Stop my fights. god. Drama. Josh? This is Sam. In love. You're challenging, Josh Wheeler. And I do like a challenge. But then, this happened. Oh, man, goddamn mind. Hell broke loose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. So what's life like during the apocalypse? Wish yourself I take you on a trip down memory lane. It's awesome. There's no rules left because adults turn into what we call ghoulies. The world is backwards. I just fit in way better now. I'm sure there are still jocks, nerds, and cheerleaders. But I have everything I ever wanted. But it's not about having cool shit. It's about being cool as shit. Wesley Fists. I'm on a path to redemption. We are free. We can do anything. I couldn't pull off those pants. I feel like this is such a high school movie. No, no you cannot. Moving forward, using all my breath. Look, we're all searching for something. Sam is out there, and I'm not giving up until I find her. You can't Aww. just leave us. I agree with the petulant dwarf. You acquire our assistance. We're making something important here. Our own tribe. A family by choice. Sup, turds? This is why I avoid people. Your skills. Angelica's brains and it's my swords all the time. Ain't nothing we can't do together. So what's life like in the apocalypse? It's never what you'd expect. Oh, your sword is still stuck in my fucking hand! It's stuck in the bone! <laughs> bone. Oh. Okay, it feels very teen bop to me. It, like, it I'm does surprised so, you're watching it. It does in some moments, but other moments it's not. It feels more adult than what the trailer leads on. Um, like the pyro girl, she's like... Um, she wants to be just like an old, old school, like Al Capone. She wants to be like a gang member, like run a gang and shit. So she like catches shit on fire just to get to a psychiatrist and then manipulates the psychiatrist to like fake tears and crying to get like prescription drugs, which then she grinds in and sells it as slime to high school students and it starts becoming a drug dealer. The, the little girl's fucking crazy. She's 10. She's got a flamethrower and just says, you know, she, she's like cussing all the time and just, <laughs> it's funny as shit. The samurai, he used to be a jock, but he's on a path of redemption. So he's like a passive samurai, like trying to give wisdom and everything. I mean, I no. am enjoying it. I'm three days. Really? I'm three days, uh, three episodes into it. They're an hour long. Um, there's some weird shit in it, but it's yeah. It's... It looked I, to be honest, it wouldn't look like something I would watch. And DK commented that he's like, "This looks really bad," and I, <laughs> I agree um, because it it just it. And I watch stuff on the CW that yeah, you make I'm fun aware. of me for. I'm aware. And, and you're watching this, which I feel like is just a kid version of kind of Zombieland in a way where 
Like, it's just... He gets... It, it's he a gets, coming of age zombie, or coming of age apocalypse. He gets bit at one point, so he ties his arm down and starts trying to hack it off with a sword because he get, got bit. And the little girl comes in, she goes, what the fuck are you doing? And he's like, ah, I got bit, I need to save myself. And she rolls up her sleeve and she's bit all over. She's like, they're ghouls, not zombies, you dumbass. And he had, to, <laughs> he had cut his finger off at one point, and the, there's like a witch woman that used to be one of the teachers in it. And she's, all, she's like craving, because what happened with, it, when the bomb hit, it wasn't a nuke. The bomb hit and it was like a biological thing where all adults were just either A, turned to goo, or B turned to like the zombie looking things. I'm sorry. So so everybody 18 and older? I don't know age. I just know adult wise. Adult? But the, the teacher, the teacher's alive, but she's kind of fucking crazy now. And she she's anyways. I'm enjoying it. I'm having fun with it. I think it's that's, there's think there's it's, some moments where I'm just like that's really high school ish. But there's other moments like it's that's kind of funny. It's a high school TV show. It's so yeah, it's definitely be not mostly high. I there's there's some adult shit in this. There's a okay. lot of adult shit in this. I'll take your word. I'll take your word for it. But like, I look at that trailer and it's not something that I'm like, yeah, I want to watch that. It kind of looks like, I don't know where that stands. Like, it it's has weird. the high school element, but then it has, like, I don't know. It's like in a coming of age apocalypse story that I believe you have made fun May of me for watching. Multiple agreed. Times. Agreed. Maybe, maybe mm -hmm. I enjoy it more because the kid, the main character, Josh, he didn't really fit in with any clicks or anything when everything was current right. and how the world was. And at the end of the world, he's doing better than he ever has. Not for the material things, but because he's more comfortable in the end of the world. And just the people that he connects with now he has a better connection with them due to the what the, is going on in the world than what he did prior. Yeah. So it's not joining a clique. It's basically people truly being who they are. Um, I, I Like I said, I'm enjoying it. It's a lot of some... It's got some weird <laughs> fucking shit at it, dude. But it, okay. it's it's a lot of fun so far. So I popped All off, right, like so I said, three episodes yesterday. I would recommend okay. it, and I'm watching it mainly because if you don't, I'll force you. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that can lead into what I've watched uh, that I'm not forcing you to do yet. Okay. Um, yet? Okay. But I, uh, on the plane, and I completely forgot when I was going over all the movies that I watched on vacation. I completely forgot I watched this on the plane. Dark Phoenix. How, <laughs> That's how bad how was it was that? because how was I completely that? forgot I watched it. Yeah, no, I saw you sent a picture and it showed an, an end game. Did you not just watch end game no, 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 no. again? No, 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 no. This was um, when I was flying to California. I watched, um, uh, I had talked with the people I was sitting next to, but then I had a little bit of time, um, like just like an hour and a half or two left in the flight. So I watched Dark Phoenix because I'm what? like, I'm on the plane. It's free. I hadn't seen it yet. Let's just watch this so I yeah. know what's going on. Um, finish out that, that trilogy. So um, it was not good. <laughs> That's I what everybody says. I haven't spent any I money on it. I, I didn't spend any money on it. I understand why it did not do well. Um, it's, uh, oh God. Um, well, let me guess, let me guess. Point... They are all, all the actors and actresses phoned in their roles. The story didn't make 100% sense, and it just led to try to get action to overwhelm anything that you may feel like. That didn't make sense, but hey, there's action. I can forgive it. Yeah, yeah. There was just, there was consistent action through it, but it was like, sloppy and i don't i still don't understand why you would give the person who did the last stand which i didn't it wasn't my favorite but i didn't hate the last stand but you gave him the exact same story literally you gave it to him to do again and it's he like didn't even worse. <laughs> like why would you not go with a whole new creative team like this is not a what to watch this is a what not to watch oh, because, we haven't had one of those no because i i it's I mean, we did. You said don't watch... Um, uh, Between Two Ferns. Between Two Ferns, yep. yeah. So, I, I mean, you weren't going to watch The Dark Phoenix, I'm sure, anyways. But uh, at I some point, when it was free, I was going right. to watch it. On a plane? On a plane? No. I was just on the plane. No, I'll so just, just watch like... Infinity. I mean, in game over and over yeah. again. Um, but I just, I wanted to see how it all ended. And I think that it was a lazy-ass effort. And I don't know how much of it was changed w with the merger or or what, but I understand why they didn't spend a lot of money on promoting it. I understand why they just kind of threw it out there and was like, just get it. I, they shouldn't have. Ne they should have never released it, honestly. Um, or it should have been like straight to straight to video or Sounds something. Sounds like a DC movie. 
Yes. It, well, it's a Fox movie. Like yeah, that's the same, same thing. thing with the the, <laughs> the rebooted Fast, uh, Fantastic Four. The original Fa- Fantastic Four wasn't great. The reboot was even worse. Yeah. And that's exactly what they did with this. I will say I I enjoyed the X Men movies. I enjoy. I love the originals. I I liked um uh um First Class. I enjoyed First Class. I enjoyed um, Days of Future Past a lot. Um, I, I even enjoyed Apocalypse. Each of them had something that I liked in it, and. I honestly couldn't tell you one thing I liked about this movie. At all? There wasn't a cool scene? At least? Was there an actor that stood out? Um... Oh, don't try it. If you have to force it, it ain't fucking worth it. I know. It's not. No, just let it go. No, but I had watched it like three... Let it go. But... I, it was just like they all knew it was coming to an end and they just and the writers knew and the directors knew like they just threw action at you and the story like I don't know how much it's like they they put the story together in a writer in a writer's room that took like a day they're like oh let's break for lunch and then let's finish this in two hours like that's the story just didn't fit um and what's actually even more hilarious is it's supposed to be the 90s and we've seen these people in the 60s, 70s, like 60s, 70s, mm-hmm. 80s, 90s. They look the exact same, like from the 60s to the 90s. Like they haven't aged at all. They didn't even like give them any gray hair or anything. For any- they look the exact same as they did in the 60s as they do in the 90s. I look the exact same as I did in high school. Yes, but this is the 60s and the 90s. I know, I know. That's 18 years. That's 18 years. I'm not Yeah, there's 30. a big difference. Yes. Yeah. Um, but no, I... No wonder that that Kevin Feige and Marvel Studios is not jumping into the X-Men right away. And no wonder that they're going to, I think they're changing it to just mutants because holy crap, this movie just shit on every X-Men movie come before it. It, They even make a, like um, uh, Jennifer Lawrence's Mystique makes a comment and like even says something like the women, the women are doing all the work around here. Might as well, you should really think that rethink the word X-Men. And I'm like, really? That was, that was a little much. And I'm, I'm, I don't care, X Men. Whatever. I'm not offended. How are you by gonna that make it all? through all those troops and, uh, 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 of Thanos' troops? She's got help, and all the women landing. That's more natural than what that it, line it just was. was. Well, well, also, it, yeah, it was more natural. Um, that was. I still think that that line was a little. That much. was a little much because, but, but at the same the, time, the line was, and people are like, "What? Just all the women just randomly?" St-? And I'm like, they actually led up to all the women being around that area. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm not fighting that. it because at, when the line was said, yeah. she's got help, and then you realize what's happening. You're like, oh, but then you're like, all right, and then still, when it hits and goes, you're like, I it's still cool. got goosebumps on it. And I'm like, yeah, I see yeah. what you're doing. I know what's happening. I yeah. still can't pro- fucking it's, prevent it. It was a fan. <laughs> appreciation but yeah, this felt like we need a feminist moment and i'm like oh and it was just and then like again i hate it when actors get to decide moments for their characters because jennifer lawrence really wanted she didn't want to do this movie so she dies and i'm just like what you literally spent the last three movies before this talking about how important Mystique is and she being the main character and like like all of this around Mystique, and then she dies. Hey, and it's like spoilers, spoilers. Nothing. Spoilers. Oh come on, this is already on DVD and <laughs> she, on plane. She got pissed. Oh come on, nobody no. gives a fuck. <laughs> nobody gives a fuck about this movie. Like come <laughs> well, on. Well, I'm the I'm the language person here. You need to calm down, uh, man. You don't need to say those it, words out loud. You got a bun in the oven. I don't need. I don't need my uh, my niece. Mm-hmm. There hear you these go. Bad words. <laughs> to like hear you these forgot. bad words. I, I'm not good with any of this. Uh, Family um, member. Yeah. It it just, it felt so lazy. That's... It felt like they were just like, people what, people love superhero movies. Let's just make another oh, actor's names. Like, and yeah. oh. they were like, let's just make another one. They love these actors. They love comic book movies. People will see it. People did not fucking go so see it. So it was movie. the worst. It was off can, absolutely can I, the worst of every single X-Men movie. Can I, can I give you a, uh, not a homework assignment, but can I give you a mission? Maybe. With the new Terminator being as bad as what everyone says it is. <laughs> I kind of want you to go see it just so you can bitch about that one too. I want you to compare which one ruined the franchise the most. Because apparently the Terminator Dark Fate was trash. Yeah, I... I heard a lot, and and so I'm all about 
diversity and you know m mixing up um, genders and 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 everything um, in in a movie. But when you have to force it and you're doing it solely to do that and it doesn't make sense, like I heard that the way that Terminator Dark Fate was was they basically are trying to go so far in the female side and so many lead female characters that they completely disregard the importance of their original male characters because I, I did hear a spoiler in that movie, which I won't say here. But it just, but it was just like... I still want to see it. I, I'm going to pirate it though. Yeah, I just, I don't like it when it's forced. Okay. I feel like storytelling should be natural. And the the, the Dark uh, dark Phoenix, it was not natural. Nothing and felt natural, it, it sounds nothing, like. Nothing nothing felt natural. It all felt forced. Um, and and even the motivations felt forced. And then the, the reconciliation at the end felt forced. And it just, it was such a sad thing to see happen to the end of the X-Men. And I know it's... Fox's X Men. We're gonna get. It was a dead a horse, reboot. anyways. All they did was put it out of its misery. So you should be I know, happy but that it, it shouldn't have been released in theaters. You this should be been happy released. that the lowest moment occurred at the end when its last dying breath and it just gone. Because of that, it's such a low standard that even That's if true. they fuck up <laughs> a little bit when they come back out with this shit, you're still gonna consider it against the last Better. one that came out. Yes. So if they did amazing. Marvel may be a little bit better, but then you're like, oh, I don't know if they should have done it. I mean, that's a yeah. different viewpoint on it. But now you're like, that's a piece of shit. That at least is tolerable. So that they're they're doing great. Yeah, yeah, they're doing great. Like they didn't. Yeah, I don't. Right. It was it was sad. So that is my recommend. Like what not to watch was dark dark fate. Or dark. And I'm gonna like I said with mine. I recommend checking it out. It's it's got a lot of cheesy stuff, but it's really not as bad. It's got a lot of fourth wall breaking, um, where oh, yeah. he, he'll like stop in the middle of something and kind of talk to the camera and all that kind of yeah. jazz. Um, so uh, again, I do recommend it. It's not bad. It's a fun little show, but not one with kids. Definitely not with kids. <laughs> it's, it's fucking weird. Okay. 